Alright. Alright. I got Andre here and Scott from At the Mercy of Inspira Inspiration, the vocals and guitars. First of all, a little bit of history about the band. How's how the band start? Cause I know you guys had like uh, previous bands and some existing bands still going on, the other bands, you know? So. Uh, well, it started in. Um, I was in a. I don't know if they are shitty bands. Yeah. No, fuck it. Well, we, were, you're... we were in two shitty bands. Okay. Uh, that, that don't need to be spoken about. Okay. Um, but out of the ashes of this oh. one band. Oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> this is Tom. Tom Perino, ladies Sorry. and gentlemen, making a. <laughs> anyway, so it started uh, then, summer, summer two thousand. Tom plays bass. Anyway, so, right. so, so <laughs> like, oh. uh, March of two thousand. March of two thousand. Uh, my old band broke up, and then yeah. the old guitarists that used to be in this band um, recently left. Uh, we started at the Mercy Inspiration. Okay. And we had different members, and we just I was out of school. Okay. And then we just sort of had a few other members, and they just sort of flaked off, and then we got uh, Scott. Jet when we got Jet on okay. drums and then uh, Scott and then Tom. Tom yeah. Were you always vocalist? I know you were vocalist. Yeah, always. In the other always. I don't do anything else. I, okay. Okay. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm a utilitarian. He does a lot of other stuff. But basically, the same nothing stuff. that should be mentioned on camera. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, right. Uh, like masturbate. How the musical style of uh, this band form? Like I know you know the other bands. You know, do you have any influence? You know, on how this band was gonna sound like, or it just really came naturally. Well, you know, I, th I think in the beginning, like uh, a lot of the songs were written by our former guitarist. Okay. So definitely his. He was more into the metalcore, sort of hardcore, kind of moshy stuff. Right. Um, Andre and I like decided sort of where we want to take the band was more straight up metal you know blending our what we like, really like totally stuff influence. stuff like a lot of euro metal black metal death okay. you know blending metal with metal so metal, metal and metal like yeah because so many different styles right like it's right. a big melting so pot thrash, of influence thrash with black okay. and black with death and you know because all these little genres but yeah. whatever you know whatever it means but you know and we still enjoy the mosh parts it's fun but I know. found most of like Ontario bands like you have like Confine or like Spread the Disease or like even the band's Hard Club it sounds like you know even you guys just pure like metal, whereas the Quebec is kind of more, you know, with the breakdowns and you know. Yeah, I mean, I found recently, especially well, not recently, a I long don't think time. Any of us in the band are tough enough to do that kind of. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> we can't pull it off. I mean, I wiggle my. We're ass a bunch on of crybabies at heart, really. Yeah, we're a bunch of emo kids at heart. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I think I mean, you, get a, you've, you hit the point on the button. It's like in this area, it's mostly mosh. The kids like really yeah. like hardcore here. Yeah. I mean, Day Morning when he used to come up here, I mean, the kids dug up, but they mixed a lot of more death metal with hardcore. Yeah, oh, no, toward the end, yeah. That's yeah, that. towards the end, yeah, yeah. totally. And, um, but I think in, I don't know about so much about confine, but I, I know definitely spread the disease. Yeah, for sure. Like, like, no, just for like Bushmire yeah. and all those guys yeah. love metal and they mix it up a lot. So okay. I mean, yeah. You find like it's a positive thing where you have like metal kids and like different kids, you know, come to different, you know, like one hardcore show, like even like just to mix the shows, like even tonight, it's pure like a pure metal show, and you have like these hardcore kids, these metal kids just coming in. But like you're getting that more now, I think, but yeah. especially with a band like Darkest Hour or a band like yeah. us. Uh, bring in different people together yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, I think the lines are starting to blur with as far as, you know, metal and hardcore bands. Okay. It's like when like metal core bands or whatever, the bands that root from the hardcore scene that want to do a more metal sort of thing, they I find that they tend to uh, you know push over towards the metal scene. Like because they want to get away from the hardcore okay. because it's like it's hard to do though. Yeah, it's really hard so to we're do. Super happy we played the show. Today. Yeah, exactly. Like it's good that the scenes are blending together. I think that you know for too long it's been segregated, but it's really hard for you know for like metal bands to just start out because they have nobody to play with, right? Yeah. And that's they got to start somewhere. So they root in something that has like a, a solid community like okay. hardcore. You're, which is cool. And you're pigeonholed in hardcore completely and utterly. You mean like if like. You're a hardcore man. You know how hard it is to get rid of that stigma of being from a hardcore scene yeah, yeah. and to play metal shows, mm -hmm. and especially when you play metal and you want to play metal and you love metal, and it's still today. I mean, people laugh at you and whatnot. I'm sure you know. I can't speak for Darkest Hour, but for us, for sure. I mean, okay. You know, it's. it's yeah, they're just laughing at you falling off the stage, not the music. I'm falling off the stage because I'm going off. And everybody's <laughs> got a you around. I don't know, okay. But I think there's good, good, good and bad things. I mean, the good thing is that uh, you have different kids. You know, different. Scenes coming in, checking, you know, yeah, whatever's it's bad. Yeah, but the bad true. thing is, I think, you know, kids are, uh, especially in hardcore, I find, like, they're less tolerant of, like, you know, metal kids. Yeah, like, and that's the thing. This is kids, you know? elitist attitude. So, you, like, you can't mosh But there, you get you that in metal, too. That, you, you know, know? Like, like, kids will. Yeah, I, I, I've heard stories of kids making fun of Darkest Hour because they do, they're not metal enough or they're doing this and that. Right. But then they're and too metal for they're hardcore. They're too metal for hardcore. You know, you can't win. It's like, it's like, I don't know. Well, it's like in the pit today, there was people, like, banging their heads and sort of trying to mosh around like they would at like a pure metal show 
and then you had kids like totally trying to floor punch and like you know kickbox and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and, and like the kids pushing each other. And then they just start pushing it. Like the people mosh, you <laughs> think, oh, these guys are trying to mosh too, so start pushing them, right? Yeah. And like, I don't know, like today nothing bad happened, but like even like two days ago we played in St. Catharines, and the same thing happened. Some metal guy was just grooving out, banging his head, and some floor punching guy got in his face and like pushed him back and like yeah. tried to kick him in the head. Like yeah. and that shit still happens know, a lot. Yeah, there's a lot a of lot. friction like, between certain. Yeah, scenes. that's always yeah. happened. You know, even yeah. at hardcore shows, whatever yeah. the fuck. You know, hardcore shows, you got fucking crew like, guys. You don't know how to dance. So fuck, man, in the head. it happens like, all the time. People yeah. get a few beers in them, or you know, straight edge kids will fight other kids. You know, whatever. It's I think it's all bullshit because you know, kids. You know, especially like nowadays, you know, they want to think you know, dancing is mostly floor punch and windmills and bullshit like that. Dude, Whereas, it goes like, in trends. If you go at least try to do your old school, you know, your old school agnostic front type of yeah. You know, well, that's what that's the big thing. Pick up change. They're like, like, what the fuck? You know, they get all pissed off. And you start pushing you. Like, yeah, you can't do that here. It's that like, should happen. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a never ending story. It's like in, in f- ten years from now, if, if, if hardcore is huge or whatever it is, who knows? It's always fluctuating. Yeah. But if you're still gonna hear the same stories, you're gonna have three idiots like us <laughs> doing an interview and saying, "Oh, you know, it's exactly the same thing." It's never gonna change. Okay. And how'd you guys get into hardcore in the first place, or the so-called genre, you know, called hardcore? Or just, you know. I started getting into hardcore. Well, I, I, was, I was a metal kid, totally. And then I okay. started listening to like early DRI and suicide. Because all, all those bands turned to thrash bands, like yeah. metal thrash bands. I could debate the idea of thrash, too. I mean, gone forever. But like um, DRI and suicide tendencies, for sure. Like dealing with it. For DRI is, I mean, I love that record. Yeah, the first suicide tape was for, like shit. Yeah, and, like, it's crazy. Skate, yeah. And then I started getting into like all, all hardcore, like Chain of Strength, The Judge. Straight edge stuff mostly, and then old New York hardcore. I love New York old New York hardcore, like the Moth and fucking old AF, and okay. Chromags and all that stuff. That's really all of a sudden really more popular today than I think it ever, yeah. ever really was. There's this whole like retro resurgence. People like looking to the past. I don't know. You know, I don't know if you. I don't know. How's the Ontario scene? I know, like especially here in Montreal, it's like pretty like a tight family. You know, you make a lot of friends and so and so. Where Ontario, you know, how how's it over there? In Toronto. Yeah. Ontario. It's getting better. Yeah, it's definitely getting, it's getting better. better. Tom's still in a, a band in, in Ham- from Hamilton called Our War. Okay. I mean, it's like you get like you got No Warning, you got fucked up right now. You yeah. got uh, was it Career Suicide and all these like hardcore bands, you know. And it, okay. I think it's pretty good. It's like start. It was just No Warning for a while in Toronto, and then now it's like but like hardcore, hardcore not not the hybrid stuff. You know what I mean? It's not like hard. It's not, it's not like metal like straight up. Like, no Warning's like straight up like you know like mad ball hardcore. And there, there are no like, metal. It's not, sure. it's not you know like there's mosh parts and stuff, but it's not like you know you don't hear any like dive bombs and stuff. Like, yeah, well, no, what, no Warning. In it. Yeah, yeah, No Warning's straight up old school New York hardcore. Like try to a lot of bands like that are you know they're basically they're big they're becoming a band and like they're a certain style and it's not the hybrid stuff but it's really good because there's not a lot of that around right now okay. and a lot of people are starting to really enjoy it like um, there was a big show in Toronto a couple weeks ago with like basically most of the bands we were, we right. were just talking yeah. about and uh, I mean it was great like people were moshing people were head walking like you know just jumping off the stage just going off like I've never seen people yeah, go seen off that like that the swarm was around you yeah know, and, that's, and it's like that's because weird. so many people now and like I hardly saw like I honest to god I didn't see any like floor punching or windmills or anything. I just saw like pure moshing and skanking. But that's what I mean by it goes so by cool. trends. It's awesome. like that's the trendy thing to do now is to mosh like that. And you look like an asshole if you're like kickboxing. It's like fuck that. You know, it's, yeah. it doesn't make any sense to me. And like, and then guaranteed <laughs> a year from now when kickboxing's back in, you know, in style, and then whoa, that guy's doing an old '80s mosh like, you know, like the mags. It's like, <laughs> and, then, and I'm serious, and that's what you're gonna get. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I think it's just all these trends is like whatever, you know. Because you start going out outside yeah. of Toronto, you get like more metalcore mixing. Mm. You know? Yeah, but okay. I think that's good. I, I, I've outside of like the old school hardcore scene or whatever. Okay. A lot of the, like the metal bands, the tech bands, even some of the emo stuff. It's like you're bridging a lot of cities that previously like you know, they're sort of along the same. They're pretty close, uh-huh. but they never really had a tight knit scene. Now it sort of seems like you can have a show in Niagara Falls and then a show in London and you know something in Kitchener and all the same kids will come out and they're willing to make that trip because it's, okay. I don't know, it's getting a lot closer, a lot of people are becoming, yeah. you know, it's just like bands are networking and kids are starting shows and like a lot of these DIY promoters are willing to give like, right. you know, unknown bands chances and I think that's good because, you know, especially in Toronto, there's <coughs> there's definitely a problem where promoters won't give the local bands or the new bands a chance to play with larger crowds and I mean, okay. how do you expect any sort of scene, that local that scene food. to flourish or get any outside interest oh and how God. have it grow <laughs> if you're not going to be, you know, letting like these new bands yeah. play with, you know, new crowds. It's yeah, it's I think elitist. that sucks. That's what I don't like. But whatever. I mean, I see. It's I, all about who you know, and that's how it is in life too. That's it's right. like nothing changes. Who do you know? Who fucking cares? Yeah, who know? Who you're fucking? Whatever. It's all shit. But I, I think, think the DIY fucking, promoters outside cares? of Toronto quote, are doing quote, a really fucker. good job of okay. you know keeping it going. <laughs> right. It's it's good to see. Definitely. Okay. And uh, lastly, um, 
what were your like goals of this band and like do you think guys you know have uh, anything you would change about it or goal goals to get fucking faster and heavier <laughs> yeah more tremolo more black metal more fucking thrash I don't know. It's that's where we're going. It's okay. like yeah, totally the all the new stuff we can do musically and yeah. and still write good <laughs> songs without you know being redundant completely. You know, okay, and right. repeating ourselves over and yeah, over. We've been again. pretty lucky with that. I think we just we just keep on putting up something fresh. I yeah. think and kids seem to dig it. And and the, and the play in front of kids that you won't usually see us like metal kids is pretty fucking cool. And we want to do more of that. And one day I hope to refer Four to our lives. songs by names and not numbers. <laughs> Wow, it's easier numbers. What I got long? I got fucking long sentences for fucking titles. Shorten them up. No. <laughs> That's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just being a jackass. I know. Cool. Yeah, we got a record coming out on Red Star yeah. Records. Yeah. Last uh, thing. Yeah. Next month should be an EP. Five, well, by the time this comes yeah. out, it'll probably it'll be. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect way to kill an evening. Yeah. Um, was it six songs? Five, five songs? songs. Five songs. Five songs of stuff. So, like older, like it's a, I don't know. It's sort of a, you know, a chronology, a chronology of where we started okay. and what we've been doing. So this is the two, two demos you guys? Uh, yeah, it's got entirely. No, 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 no it, includes, it includes one song. Off each demo. A chain song from the first demo yeah. and one song from the second demo. Yeah. Okay. And then three new songs. Yeah, it's all redone okay. really well in a good studio. And yeah. cool. we're really happy with and yeah, you know, and then we think it's going to take off. Hopefully tour and record and all that stuff and play metals over dead. All right, word. Okay. Thanks, guys. That's it. Awesome. All right. Thanks a lot.